Slashers, it's Halo Ochreheads, just doing a little something different, having a video of you of me uh, before the actual video, so just <laughs> adding a little flair to it. Anyways, too much video going on. Enjoy. We have some miners, guys. Minor attacks, two star versus three star. Be sure to stay to the end of the video so you know what the difference is. Here's the first base. Um, we're looking at both of very similar base layouts. I'm now going to show you the other one. <clears throat> And here is the first where the two star you get. So let's go back and show the three star first, what went right, and how we can duplicate it. Very tough base, not maxed um, totally. Uh, some of the heroes are not there, but everything else is pretty good uh, at that. So queen walk, a lot of what people do with miners, um, a lot of times they'll put the queen on one side and then the king on the other, and then put all the miners into the core. But this time he's doing the queen walk with miners instead of all straight miners. Uh, the goal here is to to, uh, to create the funnel so he on one side he's going to use the queen and on the other side he has a king and special unit in the clan castle you know what it is bowlers anyways uh, clearing this path once the wizard tower goes down he's going to drop some wall breakers that way the queen will go in because if she walked all on the outside you'll notice the uh, air defense there would take out the healers so you can't have that have to have the queen do her thing now very patient on the queen and waiting to the king now uh, and this raid worked out perfectly the king goes down. He's going to use some wall breakers. Luckily, the king comes back around. It is the closest structure. And so notice here, I want to mainly notice on the queen. She drops a one rage on her perfectly, by the way. Uh, doesn't have to use her ability yet. And here comes the miners as we speak. But the big thing and why this is attacked, as you can tell, the queen went kind of on the outside. There was some storages, that wall kind of separating the inner core and the outer core. She went to the outer core, which was big, so she didn't get locked on by more expos and especially that clan castle so the clan castle goes towards the miners he's got some poison spells for it all you need there and gonna rage and heal all in the core of course the core is very deadly you got those max infernos got the teslas in there and expos all in the core and all those units are shooting as well so very tough gotta have the heals and the rage to get through that core for sure now I'm just going to speed it up. This was a perfectly executed attack from the talking Tay, and the queen is still alive. That's very critical. The queen must survive on these attacks. If you're doing the queen walk, she has to survive, but you cannot use all her rage ability uh, because you only have three rage, and you need rage for the core with those miners. They really need it to get through. So great attack there from the talking Tay. Now we're going to the number one. Here we go. Maxed base for sure. Now what's the main difference here? Same sort of layout, but if you notice closely, there are more defensive units in this western hemisphere where the king is. Those two cannons down there, there wasn't two cannons um, in the previous base layout, plus... Um, that expo, uh, there's not that um, kind of compartment. So when the queen goes in there, she's going to hug more so towards the middle area. So both expos are on her for a longer period of time. And that little, those little things make huge difference. So you wouldn't know this. You would think, oh, I could do the exact same attack. But no. See, uh, this would have gotten the three star, I believe, even though it's a max defense. I think everything's maxed out. Uh, if he uh if uh he had br brought the king in sooner use the king sooner and the bowlers to create the funnel it's just a little late from the talking tay and so because of that perfect poison spell by the way on the king doesn't have to use rage doesn't have to use an ability that's important especially at the town hall 11 level use that use a poison instead on the king or if it's the queen over there anyways here we go right at now let me pause it this is when um you needed to drop the king and the bowlers to create the funnel and bring in the val i mean the miners earlier than usual because you don't want the queen by herself and she's going to get stuck by herself and she's going to have to use uh the queen is going to have to need uh to rage and her ability to get through all that. And so that's why this attack failed. There's not enough rage um, for the miners in the core. So, you know, just those little things. You wouldn't know you need to do something different on this attack. Uh, but that extra cannon to the south there in the Archer Tower eventually, he, she's got, uh, the queen's got four uh, units on her, uh, soon to be. And so there's just, it's too much damage. Has to use another rage. And you need that extra rage for the core. So, again, this would have been a three star if the 
the miners came in sooner. They were just a little too late. Plus, the clan castle, and if you noticed, last raid, the clan castle went to the miners. This time it went to the queen, and that was so bad. If the queen, ah, oh, if, if the mine, especially if there was a hound in there, uh, if the mine, if the uh, clan castle went to the miners, uh, it would have been a three star. The queen would have survived, uh, even with placing those two uh, rage uh, on her, and it would have made a huge difference. And possibly the three star. I think the three star would have occurred um, if the queen had survived and kind of done more damage. So just those things you can't. Foretell you. I mean, it takes really a close eye, and I, I wouldn't have made it. It's easier in hindsight. By the way, guys, I would. I don't. I think anyone would have missed that. Um, just the the simple nuances of the base layout really made the difference in the two star and three star. Um, and not having that extra rage in the core, as you can tell, was needed for the miners. So those things add up. Anyways, I thought it was very uh, good attacks from our um, number one, the Talking Tay. So anyways, thanks guys. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it. I think it's very insightful. And yeah, I think I'm bringing a lot of good stuff to the Clashing community. Uh, we'll see you next time. And as always, my friends, Halo 3.